So another uh, another filmmaker that your IMDb frequently intersects with is Ben Stiller. Uh, beginning in 2001 with Zoolander, then Starsky and Hutch, Tropic Thunder, and then Little Fuckers. Is there a reason for that again, or is that just kind of like the same thing where there's a cast and director that, that likes what you do? No, in this, this respect, it's a little different. I used to be roommates with his wife. Okay. Uh, Christine Taylor and I were roommates. Um, when we were in our 20s, we met doing an episode of uh, the show Blossom mm. uh, back in the day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then, uh, so we became really good friends. And then she, you know, she married Ben. And so it's more of a friend thing. He sticks me in, uh, in movies. That's cool. That's yeah, cool. cool. I just got to find part. a better roommate. Still waiting. still waiting for a bigger part. A little small part. <laughs> it's okay. Well, you know why we, we have you here. Let's talk about it. You brought it up and he brought it up. Let's talk about Tropic Thunder, one of the... I, I call it one of the most what, famously underrated films of all time because people just don't understand what it is. What Can you tell us about the overall experience and what, what was that set like? I know it had to be insane. Uh, yeah, that was a blast. Uh, I like the, First of all, I like how you guys went through the cast of Tropic Thunder. You went all the way down to the bottom. We could probably get this guy. <laughs> let's, let's get this dude. <laughs> and I asked Ben no, Stiller. Fine. I asked Jack Black. They they yeah, didn't. That's what I figured. Brandon they T. Jackson. Know. He's on, on the, the fence. fence. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised you couldn't get Brandon. Actually, <laughs> that was uh, that was fun. That was um, that was three weeks in Kauai, mm -hmm. which was awesome. Uh, uh, there was a lot of drinking. Uh, a lot of the actors that had smaller parts like I did, we all hung out. We, in fact, we mostly hung out with Steve Coogan, who is uh, a madman in a yeah. great way. But that whole, I mean, it was, it was great. I, I don't think I knew then, because I think that movie is awesome, as you guys do, obviously, because you're dressed up and you're doing all that. Kind yes. of stuff. <laughs> yeah, you really love that movie. I don't know, like, it was just such a great experience. Um, ben... You know, he really knows what he wants as a director, as an actor. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, you don't want to screw around with him. He's really focused. Uh, all those guys were nice. Downey, uh, Jack Black, um, Bill Hader, just all so nice. I remember one time, there was one really funny thing where um, Nick Nolte was sitting in his director's chair off to the side and suddenly he just leans back and he falls right over into this mud pit, but he doesn't move. He just is still kind of sitting in the chair while he's laying down the mud pit and just crew guys just have to lift him up. And he just had, he had like no reaction. Uh, that was kind of fine. Talking about being in character. No, yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, he was definitely that guy. Take back. That's awesome. Yeah, you get to, once you get to a certain level, you don't yeah. have to pick yourself up. Yeah, you don't even say oops. No. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody wait. There's a Jacob waiting. Yeah, they wouldn't have done that for me. Um, I just so, one story. If I uh, just on the way, yeah. uh, I'm going. Um, uh, my friend uh, Matthew Levin, who was also cast in the movie, he plays the cameraman, and we're on a flight to Kauai, and I'm afraid of flying, so I. I'm taking alcohol, maybe a Xanax. I don't recommend it for everybody, but I have to like be out of it. So by the time the plane's in the air, I'm like, wee, I, I love this. <laughs> so um, an actress named Valerie Aslan was next to me. She plays Steve Coogan's assistant. And I'm chatting her up because she's attractive and stuff. And then for some reason, I'm, I just say, and I'm kind of wasted at this point, And I just say, you're going to have sex with so many people on this set. And she just looks at me and she goes, yeah, okay. And she gets up because she's repulsed. And she, <laughs> and she goes over and sits next to my friend Matt. And now they are married in real life. So it's thanks so, to yeah, you. This yeah, is perfect, thanks to you. Perfect exactly. man. <laughs> and even at their wedding, I, I told this story. Um, so yeah. That was uh I was hoping that it was gonna end with Matt being even drunker than you were <laughs> and just reiterating. You're going to get so late on this set and she just can't find one good person on this plane. To sit oh my seat. gosh. But yeah, no, that's, that's, that's a, that is a perfect wingman story. Wow. Uh, yeah. look 
I'm let that guy. You, let me ask you this. You mentioned before, like you said, when you were working on other sets, you'd be there all day and do a line or two. Well, let me ask you this. How long were you actually on set for? You said, it was it three weeks you were there? How long were you guys there in Kuwait? I was there for a total of three weeks. What? Three weeks um, I, I mean, there was a lot of stuff that was cut out. So okay. we were there. We were there for a while. Uh, I remember the whole scene with the with the explosion, you know, when the explosion happens too soon. Mongol in the jungle. Yes, that was awesome. We all had to go back, but when the explosion happens, the heat was so intense and we could feel it for so far away. But just to see that was just really cool and stuff like that. That was awesome. I can imagine. But yeah, um, we, we were there for a while, but we also had plenty of time to, you know, hang out and just take a bunch of alcohol into our systems. There you go. That's, yeah. That's, what, that's what, awesome. what do we say after they say the one week down party? Like they're having parties for one week down. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. But you know, the locals there do not like, um, they call them the mainlanders. They do not enjoy it there. So I, we had to defuse some situations. I was wow. buying a lot of people drinks so there wouldn't be fights and stuff like that. Wow. I heard there were that, that they don't really, sh there's not a lot of films that are shot there, but it was done because Ben Stiller has residence there that he was yeah. able to pull some strings and so yeah, I guess you could, you can get it, you can get it approved by the top. That doesn't make, make it okay with the bottom. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. They thought we were coming in and ruining, going to ruin their island. Wow. Which we did. But you know, okay. Okay. so in fairness, you gotta make movie <laughs> magic. Yes. yes, explosions and booty sweat cans all over the place, <laughs> killing pandas, dead pandas. Um, so you you've worked with Ben Stiller, the actor. You've worked with Ben Stiller, the director. I'm interested. Is there do do you notice a a difference in his approach when he's wearing both hats, or if if he's just on in front of the screen? I mean, when he's a director, he's he. I think he's way more focused. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to say this, and I'm I was gonna say not as nice, but I don't want to say it like that. He's just re just really intense. Yeah, and yeah. I think I remember on Zoolander once asking him a question, and he just gave me like a, "Are you kidding me?" Asking me this question, I was like, "I'm sorry, I just I just needed to know where I stand." Like he's just really focused and just yeah. wants to get it done. As an actor, he's just like, "Eh," you know. I think sometimes he kind of wants to direct it, but he tries to stand back and let the actual director do it. I think anybody that's ever been on a film set would completely understand what you're saying, how it's not in an asshole way, it's just direct. You have so many things yeah. going on in your heads, you're juggling so many plates, and every question feels like a, an assault. You, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, uh, you you mentioned that there is a you there was a lot shot that we didn't see. Were there any scenes that that you can think of that you were in that there were moments that you that would be if that you can kind of give us a verbal deleted scene? There was a whole um, scene. There was a whole party scene. Actually, it might have been in the director's cut. I don't know. There's a there was a whole party scene, um, an elaborate like just a crew party scene I remember doing. Um, and then in the explosions, in that, in that initial scene, there was a lot more dialogue um, between the, I was cut out is what I'm saying, guys. And I'm, okay, I'm, okay, I'm okay. a little upset about it. I, a lot of, with the uh, AD and with Ben trying to tell, give him, tell him what to do and stuff like that. Um, and then when Tom Cruise comes on screen, uh, you know, when we're at the meeting and Bill Hader's there and, uh, mm -hmm. Tom Cruise makes the guy punch the uh, punch Steve Coogan. There was a lot more to that. Um, I, that's all I can remember. Okay, that's cool. Well, uh, let me ask you this. Okay, not necessarily just the Tropic Thunder set. Anytime you've actually worked with Ben Stiller, what, what could you say your favorite memory from being on a Ben Stiller set's been? I think Zoolander when, and it's not in the original movie, but in the in the orgy scene where I'm prominently featured, there, uh, there, which was also very weird that I because I ha I have to start making out with his wife's back, so that was weird too, just him directing me making out with his wife's back. But there was um Apparently, okay yeah, <laughs> well because I'm, I'm I'm there because I'm like it's like she's make she's there and I'm kissing her back. I, I'm I'm very oh, familiar yeah. with ooh love to love you baby yeah yeah exactly. Uh, but then we all had it. We all had our orgasm scenes in the where we all filmed it. So the camera would all spin around us, and we were all making orgasm noises. That was really fun. 
I would have. I would have been. There's no way I could not have done the Forrest Gump sound if they would have got him. Uh, uh, uh. That would have been mine. I would have had to go with that. That that does have to be really strange though, being directed by her. No her man, husband. get in there. Get, yeah. get in there. I mean, there are people that don't get paid to be in that situation. Right. So, yeah. At least there's that. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. It, and, and luckily also I was good friends with her, so it wasn't, you know. Right. It yeah. was okay. Before we move on from Tropic Thunder, I know you've, you've already given us so much. Is there anything else that you want to share? I mean, it was a blast. It was just to be in Kauai for three weeks, you know, being paid to right. be there and to act with all those, you know, great people. And you really can't ask for Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.